Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. Huh? Recording? Oh. Welcome. Fuel. It's what's for dinner. And breakfast. And lunch? Seriously? Who wrote this? Every time we take in food, we're taking in fuel, and our body converts that fuel into energy so we can operate at optimum performance. Too much food, and we start feeling bloated and loaded down. Not enough food, and we start feeling lightheaded and cranky. Well, our cars are the same way. It converts fuel into energy so it can perform optimally. Optimability. Too much fuel, and it starts feeling bloated and loaded down. Not enough fuel, and it starts acting cranky. With that in mind, the whole purpose of the fuel delivery system is to store fuel and deliver that fuel to the engine in the right quantity at the right time. In a nutshell, our fuel delivery system is comprised of these major components. Here, let's make that full screen. Beep, boop, beep. Starting at the fuel tank, the storage center, and its ventilation system, what we call the EVAP system. Basically, the EVAP system allows the fuel tank to maintain equal pressure. Pressure changes happen when the tank is being filled up with fuel, fuel being pulled out of the tank by the fuel pump, and with changes in temperature. At the same time, during tank ventilation, we don't want raw fuel vapor, known as hydrocarbons, to be vented into the atmosphere. That's where the emissions portion of the EVAP system comes into play. This will be covered more in depth. Inside the fuel tank is home to the fuel pump module. The fuel pump is responsible for delivering both fuel volume and pressure. Depending on your system, some vehicles have two fuel pumps, GDI or gasoline direct injection, where the fuel is sprayed directly into the cylinder requires a crazy amount of fuel pressure. In this case, you will have a low pressure pump in the tank and a high pressure pump mounted to the engine. Connected to the fuel pump, you'll have fuel lines. Fuel lines are the highways that deliver the fuel from the tank to the fuel rail. On some older cars, you will have a fuel filter somewhere in line with the fuel lines, but most manufacturers have done away with an external filter and most filters are now part of the fuel pump module inside the tank. The fuel rail is where the fuel splits off and feeds individual injectors. On some fuel rails, you'll have a fuel pressure regulator, and on others, the pressure regulator is in another location. But all fuel systems need to be regulated in one way or another. We'll get more into that later. Finally, connected to the rail are the injectors. There are a few different styles of injectors depending on your vehicle system, but the two most common setups are GDI, gasoline direct injection, where the injector tips goes directly into the combustion chamber, and multi-port injection, where the injector tip goes into an intake port outside of the cylinder. And of course, the mastermind behind the entire fuel system is the engine computer. Based on sensor inputs like the oxygen sensor, mass airflow sensor, camshaft position sensor, and other inputs allow the engine computer to determine the amount of fuel to let into each cylinder and when. And that is our fuel delivery system in a nutshell. In our next module, we're gonna be focusing on the fuel tank and its ventilation system, the EVAP system. I'm Robert, your host, and this is Facts.